We have to be people who actually ask the Lord, Lord, what can I do? How can I go about this? How can I serve this person? How can I serve this brother? How can I serve this? How can I serve this church? So that I'm meeting their true needs. And I'll give us an example in the area of um, marriage. I think Peter was saying, he said, honor your wives. He was talking to husbands. He said, honor your wives like what? Weaker vessels. So that what? Your prayers will not go unanswered. Praise the Lord. So in every, whether it's marriage, whether it's business, whether it's relationship, honor is very important. That means, what is it that my husband needs? Amen. What is it that my wife needs? Not logically. Some people say, oh, my husband, is, you know, some nowadays people kind of say, yeah, every man needs sex and food. Yeah, that's it. We have a lot of like books, yeah, every man needs this and that. But what about if there is something unique that God, your husband needs that might not be in all the marriage books that people are publishing? Glory to God. Are you here with me? Are you here with me? Some people say, oh, your wife, you know, she just take her out for a date, you know, buy her flowers, um, you know, be romantic. But what about if your wife is not the romantic kind of person? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like me personally, like, oh, buy me flowers. Oh, thank you, thank you. It looks good. It looks good. Uh, there is more to life than the flowers. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because, uh, you know, wh when you're able to know what is in the heart of a person, you can... You can really help them. So if you buy me flowers and just say, and you think that I will kind of, be, kind of be melting and just, you know, no, it doesn't do anything to me. It doesn't do anything to me. Amen. For somebody, it can do something to somebody else, but not to me. Praise the Lord. And that is because every one of us, we are carved out uniquely. And what makes, I'm going to, sorry, just dwelling on marriage shortly and I will round up. What makes things work in, a, in a, any relationship, in any, whether marriage, business relationship, ministerial relationship, is to know what are the real needs of this person. Where is it that I can come in for this person? Where is it I can cover for this person? Don't run your home because this is how Mr. A runs his home. Or this how Mrs. B run? No, 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 no. Ask the Holy Spirit, what is the need in my husband's life? What are the needs in my wife's life? And begin to attend to them by the Holy Spirit. Begin to attend to them by, you know, by the wisdom of God. That is what sustains marriage. That is what sustains home. Not flowers. Not sex. Not money. Not riches honor and that is serving the needs of one another